Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms. My name's Stuart. My Army Painter Wet Palette XL Warmer Gamers Edition arrived a few days ago and I haven't really had a chance to play around with it until today. But I thought now that I have, I would give my first impressions and share it with you guys on the channel. A special welcome to my patrons as well who are getting to watch this video a little bit early. I do like to record the odd short video, the little bit of information, a little tidbit here and there for my patrons. And some of those videos make their way onto the channel as proper if I deem them to be interesting to the, to the wider viewer. Patreon is a great way to support the channel, so if you're interested, do check out the links in the video description. It also contains links to my Discord as well. So back to the matter in hand, which is the XL Wet palette that was released in December of 2023. I've purchased this myself. I don't have any links with Army Paints at all. So my views on this are purely my own. But as I'm a painter, I do a lot of painting tutorials and I use a wet palette. I figured it might be something that some of you are interested in. Now, I've been using a Red Grass Games XL wet palette for quite a while. I think it's fantastic. I've had no issues with it at all, but it was the design of this one with the added palette that's going to be really useful for contrast paint, for Army Painter Speed Paints, for Vallejo Express Color, that kind of thing, which I use an awful lot of, that I thought it might be worth me grabbing. I've currently been using a separate metal palette with little wells for my speed paint, contrast, etc., etc., washes as well, and it works fine but it dries out fairly quickly and if I go on a lunch break or I have to have a break in my painting for a couple of hours then being able to put a lid on it just to keep it a little bit fresher would be quite handy and these had an awful lot of wells so I thought it'd be quite interesting to try. So let's have a little look at what you get and apologies for the light reflecting off the cellophane there and I'm also recording this on my iPhone rather than my usual camera. I decided when I started recording this that this was first going to be for, for patrons as I mentioned a little bit earlier and I'm sort of playing around with doing some easier and quicker to edit videos using my phone and uh, it seems to have done a pretty good job of doing it to be honest with you so maybe I should do a few more videos on my phone at least things like this. So as we open up the box, you get a lot of the usual stuff you find inside Army Painter boxes. You get a, a tool and assembly guide, you get a painting guide um, and lots of little pamphlets. They're actually really, really good kind of standard introduction to painting. Probably not the kind of person that's always picking up a wet palette, but I, I get why they put them in the boxes and I'd never complain. It's pretty well packed, as you can imagine. You've got your bubble wrap on there and you've got this your pack of your, your 50 wet palette sheets. Um, and then you have two, what well, looks like two of the sponges that you put inside that are folded in half. So I'll just rip one of these open now and I'll see what they're like inside. And they've got a slightly sort of damp feel to them. They're very, very similar to the to the Red Grass Games one, so I'm not seeing any sort of noticeable difference in quality at this stage. So let's open up the, the palette itself. It's got a little bit of cardboard underneath the elastic that goes around the outside. Um, I lost my bit of elastic that came with my Red Grass Games one. I've not really used it because it sits on my desk, but I feel I might need to use it more for this one. I'll come back to that shortly. So it's not tiny being 10 inches across and one and a half inches thick, but that's what I expected. It's called XL and the extra height there is because you've got the, the extra palette inside as well. The sponge fits pretty well inside. If anything, it's a, a little bit of a squeeze to get it in. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I know my red grass gains one. There's actually a few mills all the way around. It doesn't really cause a problem either way, but it fits and that's what you want. Then the other bit that really, really interested me was obviously these little wells to use as a more standard palette, which I'm going to be using for the for the contrast style paints. And uh, hopefully this is fairly easy to clean. I think I will be using wet wipes or wet cloth to clean them out pretty quickly after each time. So I think once you get to that stage where it's caked on and thick, you might find it hard to keep it super clean. But I'm really interested in the ability to leave a little bit of paint in there, pop the lid on when I go to lunch or maybe that break I have when I pick the kids up for school and I don't get back for an hour or two and see how well it, it kind of just keeps the paint a little bit better and a little bit longer. I don't have any great expectations of those paints staying wet though and I, I think that uh, just the ability to have it all in one unit, having the, the palette and the wet palette all in one thing is, is more than enough and it'll keep my desk a little bit tidier. It's very, very similar to my old XL, as you can see there, not much difference in size at all. One thing that is a concern is that the Redgrass Games palette has a rubber seal around it that fits in quite tight. There is there's nothing like that at all on the Army Painter one, and I don't think there was on the previous one either. So I'm hoping that it still seals well enough to stop the thing drying out. 
it does hold by itself a little bit until I give it a real good shake where it plops off. So I'd normally soak this at the sink, but I'm on camera here and I'm using a, a squirty bottle and I'm covering the whole sponge until it's pretty saturated, but not really pulling too much on the top. I then pop a sheet of paper on it. It sticks down very much like the Red Grass Games one does, so no real issues there whatsoever. They do tend to curl up. Now what I do is often turn it over, flip it over and put it around the other way. That stops it curling up. And then just with a dry bit of tissue, I just take the excess off so you're not swimming in water. Now, people will probably tell me that's not what to do. Um, I would say use it the way it best suits for you. Some people like their wet palettes a lot wetter than others. So I've just done it to the way I would normally do it and the way I've been working. I popped a little bit of paint on there. It flows the way I would expect. Seems to work exactly the same way as my Red Grass Games one does. Seems fantastic. What I'm going to do now is pop the lid on, seal it, and leave it two or three hours and, and, and see how it reacts. Now here we are nearly three hours later. I'm just gonna see how much it's bled um, and we'll see how much it compares. Um, that little bit of water was there from when I filled it earlier on, stuck on the bottom, so it's not leaking. That's why I just shook it there just to double check. And uh, the, the, the lid comes off okay. I've taken both layers off. And that is, is, is pretty much what I find using the Red Grass Games one, which is good. I was concerned that it was gonna have spread everywhere or, or completely dried out. So it looks, like the red grass grains one in terms of performance after a two or three hour period now i paint every day of the week it's very very rare that i don't have a day where i paint i work painting at least five days a week and i, I paint in my spare time as well so i will not have the same experience as everyone and not only that it's going to take me a lot longer to make my mind up fully on it i can't give you a full 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 review without using it for a couple of months and really comparing it but my my early experiences of just playing around with it then it, it seems to work very much like the, the standard one does and i will feedback more i'll be using it now for the next couple of months and i'll mention it in my videos and if i find that it's a problem i'll be honest and say look it was great at first it, it's not working now but my the early signs for me is it's looking pretty good now, I'm not oblivious to the fact that I could have kept using my Excel and, and bought some of those like stress popping things so that people are using for, for palettes. They, they're fantastic. I just liked the, the larger size of these wells. And like I said earlier, the ability to pop a lid on it, even if it's just to, to give it a little bit of extra life. Like I said, when I'm going to make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something like that to stop it. When it paints get to that stage where they're, they're not fully dry, but they just thicken slightly. And just the ability to keep the air off things, especially in the summer, would be really, really useful. And also, as I said, it tidies up my desk so i haven't got two or three things all next to each other thank you very much for watching i hope you found that useful one way or another wet palettes definitely aren't for everyone if you mention it in a group on facebook for every person that loves them someone else will moan and say they're awful and they're mold traps and and someone else will come along and say how they've made one for free using some tupperware and some sponge and a kitchen roll and blah 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 all those things are valid we all have different opinions and different uses i quite like nice things and i like using a wet palette so i've got to the point where i, I use one enough and I use it professionally that i don't mind spending a little bit of money Money on purchasing something that's made for the job so that might not be you you might not paint enough to, to to sort of spend that money or invest in it i think this is about 30 pounds which isn't too bad it's a lot cheaper than a red grass games one it might not be for you to do that you might rather spend that 30 pounds on some some more soldiers or something just the same as paint brushes some people buy more expensive ones than others so i don't judge if people don't use them but i would definitely recommend trying one um, because i think they're really really good even if it's just on a summer's day helping keep your paint a little bit wet or just enabling you to not waste quite so much paint they do last a little bit longer even if you are clearing it at the end of each use rather than saving it to the next day or saving it to the next week um, as someone that uses one as i said nearly every day i uh, probably don't come across some of the problems that, that some people do when they set one up come back a week later and all the paints have run a little bit or they've dried out if you if you space out your painting that much um, they're not there to make your paints last forever they're there to make your painting easier on the day and maybe save them to the next day or something if you leave it much longer than that they, they will start drying out anyway they're not sort of infinite paint tools Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, share it, subscribe to the channel and all those things. Special thank you to the patrons for supporting the channel. Links to that and the Discord, which has free levels as well in the video description below. Take care and I'll catch you soon.